Who are some of the people that stand out in your mind as sort of mentors or, or leaders? Some of the people that I think of, Graham Hall, who was my sailing coach. I think your sailing coach is always very important. And he coached attitude and technique. Very helpful to me. Being with Ted Turner, two America's Cups and ocean races around the world, what I learned from Ted is the value of organization and the importance of loyalty, something that's a fundamental value in our life that we don't see that much. Dennis Connor and his work ethic, I've raced against them and with Dennis, and this guy works really hard, pays attention to every detail, and the people on the boat really love Dennis because he cares about his crew on the boat, so I think he's kind of special. Is there anything that you look back on from your standpoint now and wish you had done better? Well, I certainly had a good collegiate career. It didn't start out great, but it ended up great, so that was very good and being part of the America's Cup. But I think the one thing that I missed in my career was the ability to generate a fast boat, to tune a boat and get boat speed. So I always relied on others and recruited them to sail with me, but I never had that ability to take a boat and make it faster uh, by tuning and testing. Uh, so I was always the tactician, the boat handling, the rules guy, the crew morale, all of that kind of stuff, reading the wind, I excelled at. But I never became really proficient, and somehow I missed that with collegiate sailing. There's one other person, Sam Merrick, who led our Olympic team to win seven medals in seven classes in 1984. And I spent five great summers crewing with him on an e-scow, and I started it at the age of 16. And he was the guy where I developed the technique of being a tactician. And I did it for Ted Turner. But here's the interesting lesson that I learned later in life. I didn't know this when it was happening. Here I was giving them guidance, but you know, these are big guys, Ted Turner, Sam Merrick, I mean, real Dennis Connor. What I did not realize is that it was a two-way street. They were learning from me as, I, as much as I was learning from them. And today, that is in my head. So I learned from people like you and others, and when I talk to the collegiate crowd at the nationals or interview some of our Olympians or Olympic aspirants, it becomes a two-way street. So it's a little different than I thought when I was younger.